I was appointed to join 810 Squadron in Ark Royal, which had just come back from her South Atlantic sweep and the Admiral Grass Bay in the Swordfish. Uh, they could be exasperatingly slow at times. They were incredibly robust. I mean, as I say, that this friend of mine who had a 179 bullet holes <laughs> in his aeroplane and still flew. <laughs> This was, he got those in the in Bismarck, Bismarck action, sure. yes. When we were running convoys through to Malta or to the East Mediterranean, we always had a diversion, which invariably took the form of a, an attack on Cagliari, which was the uh, sort of the big town of Sardinia. Mostly um, airfield, uh, in fact, they were all airfield buildings. I can't remember which particular uh, strike it was, but uh, we, we scored a direct hit on what looked like um, an armory or something, because it was an almighty explosion. And one of our colleagues had to land on the airfield during the attack. And we, we saw him sort of uh, clambering out. <laughs> I think he was very well treated until he was sent uh, across the the Austrian frontier to go into Stalag. And the first time uh, we went, the, uh, there were two squadrons involved, I think, 810 and 820. And the CO of 820 was a senior officer, was a, a senior observer. Um, and somehow or other, he, the navigation must have been a bit out, because instead of arriving at sort of um, in the dark, we arrived in broad daylight <laughs> over the dark. <laughs> I think it's quite a successful attack. Um, the Italians sent up um, sent up CR-42, Kent 42s, um, which are, of course, rather like our old gladiators, uh, which, of course, were very maneuverable. And of course, one of the great defenses of the swordfish was that you could outmaneuver any um, monoplane fighter and so we were a bit anxious about this and I remember in uh, making our getaway we were all separated and made individual escapes from the target area uh, seeing one of these little brutes about um, 3,000 feet above us and shouting down to my pilot to get down onto the water because we were camouflaged and we wouldn't be seen and getting very quickly down onto the deck <laughs> and scudding away the night attacks weren't such fun because you had to dive down searchlight beams. When we crossed the coast, we always noticed this, what looked like a lot of bonfires being started. Now, whether that was a form of air raid warning, because very shortly afterwards, the barrage used to start. Uh, however, I don't think their uh, computers, or whatever it was, the predictors that they had, quite allowed for such slow aeroplanes, because as the as we approached, the barrage went away from us in front, <laughs> which was very satisfactory. <laughs> but then you launch a torpedo attack on the Tierso Dam in Sardinia. That was a, a, a night attack, um, in very bad weather. I'm surprised it wasn't cancelled, and we lost touch with our colleagues, I think there were only three of us, a very small unit. I think it was largely a diversionary attack. Uh, and um, the idea was well, like what uh, later um, Group Captain Gibson did on the, uh, I've forgotten the name of the band, oh, no, and Murder and Dance, dance. yes, sir. Um, long before that, I uh, remember watching the torpedo drop in, on this lake, um, and I did, didn't even see it hit the water because <laughs> it was so dark. But a lot of flak from the dam, yes, but uh, nothing worried us. I don't think they, you know, they just, they were aware that aeroplanes were there. I don't think they were shooting for anyone in particular. We lost one, but I think the crew was safe. Certainly not at us. Whether they got this chap who landed. And how he came down safely, I don't know, without hurting anybody. What happened to the dam? I don't think, any, I think, if anything, the torpedo probably went into the mud. And then 
you've written here that you bombed Spezia? Yes, that was when Admiral Somerville um, took his Force H um, up to the, uh, off the French, French Italian coast um, to bombard Genoa. And the big ships, the capital ships, um, bombarded Genoa with uh, aircraft spotting from the full miles. That's our fighter squadron. And we went down the coast to Spezia to bomb the naval installations there. And we were told that there were no um, balloon barrage. And as we turned to the west to escape you know, towards the dark from at dawn, um, away from the, the rising sun, you could see these balloon barrages <laughs> in front of us. And one of our aircraft did pick up a barrage and, and the crew were killed. 